Hi guys, my name is Tiana. I'm glad you're here. Today I'm going to talk to you about how I've been feeling. I've been feeling like I'm ready to leave my job, which sounds crazy because I've only been a nurse for 19 months, but it's been really hard. It's been a struggle. So right now in my unit, we are going through a lot of changes. Some of you may know that a that my hospital got bought out by a bigger, um, what would you even call it, a bigger health system. And so we're going through a lot of transitions, lots of changes there. We have a new manager. And the thing with my unit, for some reason, we cannot keep a manager. We are good strong team but our managers last one maybe two if they're lucky three years and they leave I don't know why I don't know the circumstances around it but we feel like the unwanted child of the hospital because we always have our our manager's office is a rotating door there's always someone new and so it's hard to really trust your manager it's hard to feel like you can confide in them when you feel like they're going to be gone next year, maybe next month. And right now with the culture in my hospital, we feel we feel like we could get fired any day. We feel like every day that we show up, it could be our last day. Like we could be sitting at a desk charting and our manager could approach us and ask us to go in the office and we get handed our walking papers. That's how we feel. And it's not just nursing, it's a lot of other specialties. And that is a scary place to be. We've already lost some of our strongest, best nurses because they were let go. Or maybe they just had enough of the stress and the bullshit and they were like, peace out. I'm, pardon me. <clears throat> and they just, they left. Leaving. As I'm no longer a new grad, I've been nursing for a while, but leaving the system this soon, leaving my unit this soon is scary. And I know other people have done it. Pardon me. Gotta drink your water. So I know that there are lots of people who are comfortable leaving a position when they're no longer happy or when they realize it's causing a lot of stress. And guys, my job is causing so much stress. You know, they talk in nursing about working on having a work-life balance and you think you're going to be able to do it. You think it's going to be easy. I certainly did, but it is so difficult. I bring my job home with me every day. You know, when I'm driving home from work, I'm thinking, okay, did I do everything I was supposed to do? Did I get it all done? Did I do it all right? Did I miss anything? And then I'm home with my husband and we're eating dinner and all I'm thinking about is work and he's talking to me and I'm zoned out thinking about work. It's just, it's really stressful. It's not a great place to be. And some of you may know that I recently got married. My husband and I eloped in November, on November 2nd, 2019 in Vegas. It was amazing. It was the best time. But, and, and then we had that honeymoon, but then we got back and after a month maybe I was so stressed out with work that I was being mean to him not intentionally but I, I was taking my stress out on the person closest to me and that's my new husband and that wasn't that's when I took a long hard look at myself and I said listen you you can't be stressed out like this every day so much that it's affecting your new marriage and so I started looking for different jobs I found some really great ones and of course all of the positions that I want you need experience and I don't have that right now so I spoke to my senior nurses and said guys listen I'm thinking about leaving the bedside because it's just it's too much it's too stressful some nurses said Tiana this isn't how it is everywhere maybe you just need to go to another hospital some nurses said, you really need experience. If you leave the ICU before two years, before three years is over, then it raises red flags. And people think, well, was she not a good fit? Could she not handle it? And I don't know. Maybe it's pride. 
which is a horrible sin, but I just, I wouldn't ever want to be questioned like that. I wouldn't want anyone to ever think that I couldn't handle the ICU or I wasn't a good fit for the ICU because at the end of the day, I love what I do. I love my patients. I love critically thinking. It's my passion, but it's all the other stuff that stresses you out. For instance, in my health system, when a physician wants to consult another physician, he writes the order, puts it in the system, the nurse reads the order, and then it's my responsibility as the nurse to reach out to the other physician. Well, I cannot tell you how many times I consult a physician and they say, this is an inappropriate consult, or okay, well, why am I being consulted? And it's like, it makes me feel stupid when they ask me things and I'm like, I don't know, or when they say this is an inappropriate consult, I'm just following an order, really, I'm just, I feel like a foot soldier who's just following an order, and that's not what I signed up for. I signed up to give excellent, compassionate, joyful care, which sounds stupid, <laughs> but uh, my first health system, we had a value statement that encompassed really how I felt nursing should be, and that included a, providing excellent care with compassion and a joyful spirit. And even though I'm no longer, that health system no longer exists, I still care for my patients that way. And that's not how our new culture is, which is heartbreaking. Because again, I'm in healthcare for my patient to provide excellent care. And our culture with this new health system we're not headed in that direction and it's making me cry like a baby. I'm so sorry. <laughs> um, so I contemplated leaving. I looked at some jobs. I never applied because after receiving that advice from all of my senior nurses, I made the decision to stick it out. I made the decision to enjoy every moment at the bedside that I can because I know with the goals that I have in mind to impact nursing on a larger scale, once I leave the bedside, I'm not going to go back. But at the end of the day, I'm a nurse for my patient. And so I am going to spend the next couple years at the bedside in the ICU. I don't know if I will stay at this facility or if I will move to another medical or healthcare system. <laughs> um, but I do know that I'm going to stay at the bedside. I'm going to enjoy every minute and I'm going to try and learn as much as I can about the struggle of the bedside nurse because I feel like it's important for me to understand what it is like to be at the bedside in order to be able to make impactful changes at a higher level. So that's, that's what I got. That's my story. I hope you guys can relate to that story. I hope it helps you out. If it does, leave me some comments below. If you have input about what I should do, let me know. I love you. Bye. My furnace is coming on, so I'm trying to cut it short. <laughs>